going on Pisces how are you doing hope you're doing super well this is the autistic mystic and this is going to be your reading for August 21st to the 27th 2023 so in this reading Pisces we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for the upcoming week we're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming we're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides for you and so much more regarding August 21st to the 27th 2023 Pisces but before we begin this reading as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance, Pisces, for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, definitely smash that like button, subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that over here, Pisces. But without further ado, let's go ahead and pull the energy and see what it is that would like to come through for you for the week of August 21st to the 27th, 2023, Pisces. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Pisces. Pisces, two more. Let's see what we got going on here for you, Pisces. Interesting, Pisces. So before we get into the tarot, let's go ahead and start this reading off with some pre-shuffled oracle cards. And these oracle cards are going to be the energy that you need to embody, the energy that you need more of for your own highest good when it comes to the 21st to the 27th of August. And the first energy you need more of to embody is actually creativity. All right. So this is as simple as asking yourself, what do I want to create but have not given myself permission to create yet? So really getting creative and there's an intuitive message about um, creativity is actually the greatest act of um, revolution that there is. Creativity is your birthright, okay? And this is something that's deep, okay? It could be very something simple that seems insignificant to you. Maybe it's doing a you know, a piece of artwork and hanging it in your house. And that's your, the way of revolution for you. So what have you not allowed yourself to create? Um, it's time to allow yourself to create it and understand that it is a very deep spiritual process, even if it doesn't amount to anything in the physical. Uh, I do think this is something big for you though, Pisces. So creativity, please allow yourself to be more creative than usual. You also have optimism here. Okay. And optimism here is really about being um, expecting the best, you know, prepared for the worst, but still praying for the best is what I get here. There is something with this optimistic card about being aware of the worst case scenario, but not letting it hold you back here. So being aware, well, if I want to do something and it doesn't work out, well, who really cares? You know, there's always another day to live on. We live on to fight another, another day, especially with creativity. There's something that coming through about, there is no barrier to entry. Um, especially with me, like even in the beginning of my YouTube career, something that gave me a lot of peace is there's no barrier to entry. I can do as many YouTube readings as I want. No one is able to hold me back from that. I can do as many as I want. So with you and the whole creativity and the optimistic thing, there is no rush. Lessons that are not learned here, things that are not figured out in this particular dimension will be figured out by your soul in another time space reality. So lighten up on yourself be optimistic about something okay optimism so i would avoid any pessimism especially because your opportunity this week is the page of cups and this is the opposite of pessimism this is this is even a you know there is an opportunity for you to this might sound irresponsible but there is a responsibility for you to even be gullible 
for you to allow the beauty of life to really creep in and dominate your thoughts and really do away with any sort of pessimism, skepticism, um, and really be a stoic in your own creative right. Now, the last card that you have that you need more of is actually confidence. And you see this eye is just staring very, very strongly here, uh, Pisces. So you need confidence here. And this is confidence is something that exists within you. Okay, and it's something that you need to tap into. So being more confident, allowing yourself to explore the own realm of your confidence here. Um, and confidence really means to confide in the self. And um, there is a message here, um, a deep intuitive message about you need to be, when it comes to this whole creativity, optimism, and confidence, this allows you to create something that you're for rather than what you're against. There is a message here that some of you are unhappy because you're trying to fight against the system or there's something that you're trying to fight against okay when it comes to your creativity like you're almost going almost viewing it as like a war with yourself but for you this week that's not the way that i would do it um there's something here about um um if you're if you're trying to battle with the outside world like this is what i hate this is what i hate well you want to be what you're for what are you for instead of what you're against because what you push out of yourself what you push outside of yourself, you attach to. What you resist persists. So I feel like there's something you're resisting here that you just need to let it go and, and take action here. So being more creative, even if you work a nine to five job, that you this is doing things on the side, um, you know, giving yourself permission to create. It is the greatest revolution, uh, revolutionary act. Revolution. That's a band. Some of you need to listen to the band Revolution. Uh, okay, I don't know. Maybe they'll inspire you. Okay, but let's just go ahead and get into the Tarot Pisces. Your opportunity is the Page of Cups. This is a wide-eyed, starry enthusiasm. It's a youthful energy. It's a, being, I don't know why, being gullible enough to create mysteries. Like, the person who, like, um, whoever the guy is who created Star Wars, George Lucas or whatever he is, like, he had to be so uh, swept up into fantasy, but eventually the fantasy becomes a reality. So there is something about taking fantasy and bringing it into the physical world, working with things like myths, legend, mythology. I don't know why I'm getting that, but being very open to life and, and viewing it as if you're a newborn baby, fresh as, fresh as a daisy. Now, your challenge is the Ten of Cups, Pisces. This is your challenge. And the Ten of Cups is really having to do with some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of happily ever after, some sort of long-term planning. Whatever this is, is I do feel like when it comes to you being more creative, optimistic, and confident, in some sort of way when you do that, in some sort of way it's going to thwart your long-term plans. The whole problem of this reading, Pisces, is that you feel if I'm more creative, then I'm not going to be accepted in society and it's going to hurt me in society. It could even hurt your money situation. For some of you that are working a job, there's some sort of creative side project that you want to do, but you don't want your coworkers to judge you. Like having two Facebook accounts is what I'm getting. So the Ten of Cups here, this could, have been, could even have to do with your family here. Okay, Pisces, an existing family structure who will judge you, who doesn't understand your creativity, <clears throat> but that's fine. You just you still need to move forward anyway. Now, it's interesting. When it comes to your overall general energy, there is something about lack of synchronicity in the beginning of the week. Your overall general energy, Pisces, is the Nine of Cups in reverse, the Hierophant upright, and also the Two of Pentacles here. Okay, I feel like there's some sort of weird message about, first of all, um, some sort of tradition holding you back from being creative, but there's something about letting reality catch up to you. There's something about instead of trying to fit in with the trends of society, you need to become a trendsetter. And the reason why you're not having as much synchronicity as you would like is because you're not really taking that leap to become a trendsetter. It, it, of course, it's a risk involved. There may be temporary financial difficulty. The Two of Pentacles is balancing something. I do feel like there's an existing structure of either marriage or a corporate thing or some sort of family structure, some sort of structure that has to do with emotions emotional attachments that is holding you back from doing something. The Two of Pentacles, you may also feel, if you have children, because the Ten of Cups is to do with children, there is something about you feeling you're letting your children down. Um, and this could even be the thought of your own children if you're single and you want to have kids in the future, or if this, you already have kids, there's something about children. If I'm my real, cre if I'm my creative self, then my children are going to suffer. Is that true? I don't think so. I think when I have children, they're going to be the next Billie Eilish weird uh, superstar, and that's what you can have it too, as um, Pisces. So there's something here as well about the destructive, like crappy definitions about a destructive artist. In order to be creative, 
that means I'm going to start smoking and I'm going to go off the rails and I'm going to be some sort of destructive artist. But the truth is that doesn't have to be the case. We're moving into a golden age of creativity where the really thing that's going to be valued is creativity, is real, raw, genuine human connection and solutions, this world of AI. There's something about the world of AI that we're artificial intelligence. You need to rebel against that in some sort of way to keep the spiritual connection alive because um, the timeline that we're going down, we're all going to be robots and our spiritual life is going to suffer. So I feel like there's a mission for you to do this for the whole world, not just yourself. When it comes to what you don't see coming, you have the high priestess, you have the three of cups, and you also have the emperor here. Um, I do feel like there's very powerful friends or a powerful group of people Friends, powerful people that are going to help you here, intuition here, um, celebration, friends, having a good time, and also power and control. There is something about um, the power dynamic of the world shifting. Like the people who are in power um, that you're so afraid of, oh my god, if I'm creative, it's not going to work. My family, the existing corporate structure, my children, blah, blah, blah. What you're not understanding is the very natural creative being that you are that's going to be the thing that's highly valued in the new earth but not everyone can make this jump to the new earth a lot of you are feeling very upset right now because you're you're feeling like well if i take this creative leap i'm gonna to have to leave people behind but not everyone's meant to take the leap and you're not doing anyone a favor by holding up some sort of fake reality to, to, to the world when you're meant to take a leap because here's the thing when it comes to your uh, advice from spirit, you have the Page of Wands, you have the Seven of Swords, and you also have the Sun. And what this is very clear to me is in some sort of way, the reason why a lot of you are not being creative is because your very creativity, optimism, and confidence is going to shine a light, perhaps indirectly, not even intentionally, on the very crappy structures that exist, um, Pisces. And bear with me. Trust me. This applies to you. Trust me. Bear with me here, Pisces. There's something to hear about you shining a light on any sort of deception. And it's going to be to do with your own creativity, your own identity here. And as a lot of you are afraid of the backlash of that, oh my god, the power structure is going to come after me. They're not going to like me. Um, they're going to try to kill me. You know, some kind of crazy BS thing. Page of Wands is being like, yo, you're on a quest to dismantle some sort of structure in society. And don't be afraid. If your natural light shines a light on some sort of corruptions, on some sort of crappy, outweighted, outdated way of doing things, then that's what's meant to happen. There's some sort of thing here that your natural creativity will create natural changes in society without you having to be a, rebe a revolutionary, holding up signs, I'm protesting. No, it's just a natural part of you. Some of you are resisting that process. And so there is no genius without a touch of madness, Pisces. So I want you to embrace being weird. I want you to embrace being different this week because the whole reason you're being upset in the beginning of the week, the nine of cups in reverse, lack of synchronicity, lack of personal enjoyment is because you're so worried about other people. You're so tapped into the collective unconscious that a lot of the sadness that a lot, and this is what it is, a lot of the sadness that a lot of you are feeling this week has nothing to do with your own sadness, but because you're such a Pisces and you absorb everything and you're so intuitive, you're so receptive and energetically delicate, perhaps, Perhaps. Um, there's a lot of sadness in the world that you're telling you is about you, that you're absorbing. O other people's problems, other your family's issues, you're telling yourself, oh, it's it, this is to do with me. No, you're, you're literally absorbing the collective drama. So for a lot of you, I don't want you to beat yourself up because there's a distinction that you need to make this week that this is none of my baggage. This is the world's baggage. I'm meant to be me to shine a light. So I know this sounds very vague, Pisces, but I'm telling you this is what's going on. And what you don't see coming, there could be some sort of powerful figure that you attract. This could be someone who is very in tune with their own creativity, or this could be someone I am getting as well. If you're in some sort of corporate situation or if you're in some sort of family situation, whatever BS excuse that you're using to let your creativity hold you back, what I'm getting is that when you do it, people are going to have a response that might shock you, right? Like let's say that you're in a corporate thing and you've been practicing remote viewing, you've been astral projecting, you've been working on your spiritual skill of astral projecting. When you finally tell your family or your coworkers and they see the beautiful creation that you've created, maybe you write a book about it or whatever you do, write a blog, whatever you post a picture on Instagram about it, whatever you do about it exist in the thoughtscape which influences people mentally and emotionally they're going to be like wow that's awesome they might feel a little bit weird but it's not going to be a bit as bad as you think okay but there is something about children here for those of you that have children or want children and so let's see why the page of cups is here in your opportunity so why is the page of cups here in your opportunity pisces 
for the 21st to the 27th. Youthful energy definitely is needed. Yeah, and it's interesting. The Seven of Swords is here again, and the Four of Wands. The Page of Cups and your opportunity is clarified by the Seven of Swords and also the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands has to do with your soul family, definitely to do with a group of people, and I sense that with the Ten of Cups being here in your challenge. There's some sort of group of people, whether this is your family, your coworkers, your friends, that you understand at a deep level. You know that your very natural creativity is going to shine a light on someone else's darkness. And this may not even have to do with creativity. It may have to do with just raising your own frequency and being an authority in your own right. Because in your overall general energy, you have the Hierophant and the Two of Pentacles. So instead of viewing people as they are the authority of this earth, no, Pisces, the creative, spiritual renegade, I am the authority. Now that you're owning your own power as an authority, it will naturally shine a light on people's shadow. And this is your opportunity. Do you understand that the best artists on the planet, all they do is shine a light on people's shadow? All I do is talk about the things that people are afraid to talk about. Do you want to know why I resonate with so many people on YouTube? It's because I say the things that everyone feels deep down that no one has the cojones, no one has the balls, no one has the courage to say. And the only reason I'm telling you that is because something to do with your creativity, something that you naturally want to create. It's not that you're trying to shine light on the, on the shadow of the world. That's not your intention. I understand that. Some of you, it is your intention, but that's the result of this. There's a very natural creative process that your family is going to feel like, why can Pisces do this and I'm not? There's something about you being your true self that is going to make other few people feel less than. Okay, but you're not helping anyone by trying to fit in and be less than. Uh huh. I'm some muggle who is not worthy of creativity because we must uphold the order. We must uphold the order of Capricorn. Yes, yeah. Uh, uh, like we must. It's it's just not gonna work. So let's see why the Ten of Cups is here in your challenge. And this is also a rite of passage to be sketchy and also give your. Oh my God, you you need to give yourself permission to create really crappy art here. Um, I'm telling you, uh, with your opportunity, the Page of Cups to the Four of Wands and the Seven of Swords, there's someone that your art is going to offend. This is either potentially your children, co-workers, family members, friend, group, lover. There's something that your art, the very real art, is going to highly offend someone, make them go on the defense, and that's none of your business. You can't do with how people are going to react to your art. And there's something here about giving yourself to be, create really bad art. Because do you know what it, it is about being the life of an artist? You wake up, let's just say for me, for example, I wake up, I do a reading. I feel like crap during the reading. I'm like, I, I shut off the camera after the reading. I'm like, that was the worst reading I've ever done. That was horrible. That's crappy art. Next thing I know, the YouTube video blows up and everyone's like, oh my God, you can't understand how I resonate. You can't understand how much it resonated with me, Mystic. You can't understand. Sometimes I do the, I do a reading. I'm like, that's the best reading I've ever done. I throw it up on YouTube. doesn't really resonate with people. Not really the thing. So don't think what you're, with your mind. Think with your heart. Think with your soul, Pisces, because there's something here that your worst art is often the best art that you do. The thing that you think is meaningless is the most meaningful thing. And, but it's also going to highly offend people is what I'm getting, and that's what you're meant to embrace rather than run away from. So let's see why the Ten of Cups is here in your challenge, Pisces. So maybe you're disturbing the collective peace, you know what I mean? Everyone's in their peaceful neighborhood because they watch... They watch the news and they eat their processed meat. Nothing wrong with you, whatever you eat. They're watching the news. They're eating their processed meat. Uh, everyone's talking. I mean, did you do the garbage? Did you do all the bullshit human things? And then you're just like the neighbor that's like painting in your yard. And they're like, that's a, we got a little, we got a neighbor that belongs in the loony bin. And the reason why they feel that way is because you're shining a light on their very incapacity to create for themselves. So... I love it. I get off on it. I don't know about you. I get off on it. Being the weirdo, being the autistic miss. I like. It. That's why I do it. Anything that you do in this life, you you need to get off on. Like almost like you're having an orgasm during sex. Like, do you understand when I'm doing these readings, when I have in my flip out rants, I get off on it. Do you understand that when people come to me to watch this reading, that are like, they leave a comment. Do people actually believe in this or like something? My soul gets off on that. I'm like, hey, like I'm just like watering in the mouth. And I feel like that's what you actually would be. 
Not that you're going to be some sort of like, I don't know, you're Pisces, you're more sensitive. So it's different, but I'm telling you this is what it is. Why is the Ten of Cups here in your challenge? The tower, the, 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 the Ten of Cups is clarified by the tower and also the chariot here. You're blowing up the matrix bubble for someone or yourself. The chariot is all about someone leaving the matrix. It's all about freedom of movement. And they're leaving the city behind and they're protected. You're, you are divinely protected to share your creativity. And if it causes a blow up for someone else, then that's not your problem here, Pisces. So there is an element here of you remaining youthfully that Page of Cups like frequency but really becoming a little bit of a diva here. So I'm giving you full permission to... to you are going to be a leader of the new earth, but right now you're worried about what the leaders of the new earth are thinking, or not even the leaders of the new earth, the people who are the robots, the uh, NPCs, the, um, the, the, the people who are just like AFK, their whole life they're away from keyboard, they're like, do the turkey, decorate, the, 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 decorate for Christmas, Johnny. And you're like, Christmas is not the real birthday of Christ. And they're like, you're ruining Christmas once again. It's not the real birthday, though. Why do I act like I don't get that, though? Versace, Versace, my Medusa head on me look just like my, just like my wifey. Okay. <laughs> don't you know I'm palace? I've killed Medusa. Don't you know I killed Medusa? Don't you know my palace is conjunct my Neptune at 29 degrees in my fifth house and I killed Medusa and I'm an androgynous being. So fuck you. Oh, maybe this is the energy that you need. <laughs> oh, I'm going to conclude this reading, Pisces. I hope that this resonated with you. Um, be sketchy. Be weird. Blow it up. Screw you. My creativity makes you feel weird. Well, that's because you're a weirdo.